Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another example video here. Example 39, going strong. Hope you're all doing good. Today we're going to be talking about a more efficient, much more, actually a much, much more efficient version of a, a dynamic array, right? And it's called a pointer pointer array. Pointer pointer dynamic array, I guess. Um, and basically, you remember that we used a int or a string or whatever pointer for the array and we did a new int 10, right? That's what we did. But what if we have a pointer pointer and we did uh, did this? Well, guys and girls, this is something you really need to know. This is something that's really important. If you have, if you haven't learned a lot or enough about pointers, go ahead and do that. You know that pointers hold their, or hold memory addresses, right? Well, what we just did, what you do here, is you make a integer pointer that points to 10 integers that are created directly here, okay? These 10 pointers exist in memory now. They're not just pointers to something. They're actually 10 integers that are uninitialized, right? But if you do this, you're making a dynamic array of pointers to integers, okay? It's like making 10 int PTRs, okay? It's like making 10 of these and putting them in an array. And there are no pointers. They're not pointing to anything. There are no integers in here yet. But we have an array of 10 pointers. And what you can do, what you can do here, guys and grills, is that you can do this. 0 equals new int. Okay. New int with a value of 5. Now, to explain this is a little, might be a little confusing. At this position is a pointer to an integer which we can make new and why is this more efficient well we haven't just created 10 integers here that we aren't using like I said remember when you expand an array a dynamic array you get a bunch of extra stuff that you don't need right you, you expand it double 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 so you might have 16 or 17 uh, actual valid elements but you have like an array capacity of 30 and in a regular dynamic array with ints not in pointers with integers or anything any object imagine like these being big objects this could be like huge objects that you create yourself like enemies you know enemy variable with lots of HP and and strength and stuff like that or cars with like wheels and everything and all kinds of stuff that you create yourself later with classes but through here the problem would be if you didn't do this if you did this with something huge here would be that you have a bunch of extra cars or enemies something empty ones that you're never going to use until you put something in their place uh, lying around, right? That's using a lot of unnecessary memory. What this lets you do is you have those extra points will be pointers to those. They'll be waiting to hold something, but they're just like hangers, right? Empty hangers just waiting for you to hang a big heavy coat on them instead of putting 10 extra heavy coats that you're not using right now and putting it, you know, and uh, exchanging them later. So this gives you a lot of memory saving stuff but it's a little harder to handle because you need to remember if you do some mistakes with these memory thingies and this news or new stuff and delete you'll have memory leaks and you'll have different crashes and things you can't explain so there are ways to handle this so this was just an introduction to this I wanted to show you why this is good so if we for example did this at the position one number of elements would be one right remember we always have to keep track of capacity and number of elements in our case cap would be 10 if we had a variable here, int cap 10, I'll show you this too, int number of elements 0, right? We started that, and this would be started cap, and we would actually do number of elements plus plus here, and we'll add uh, our integer here. Instead of actually just making this 5, remember, it's a pointer here now, it's not an actual integer, okay? We need to create a new integer there, and that gives us our integer position but the rest of these the nine other elements that aren't being used aren't taking up unnecessary space they're just pointers there which take a lot less memory right they're just waiting to be holding something an integer value so we're saving a lot of memory here and to print this out of course we'll just go through number of elements and we'll do array at position i and we'll print that out okay end line and then we'll have our Thing. We'll have a memory leak here because I didn't delete it. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Remember to dereference it because there's a pointer at that position now. Did you see that? You saw that, right? You saw what I what mistake I made. So usually we just do this, okay? 
but since we're holding pointers in every place, we need to dereference that pointer at that position. Okay, it's a pointer pointer here, holding int pointers. Okay, it's a pointer to integer pointers, which is might sound really complicated, but when you start practicing and you start seeing what's going on here, I guarantee you you'll know what's going on. Now I need to delete this. Okay, I need to delete all of these things that I created. So of course we're gonna do this like before, right? Array. Of course we're gonna do that. But what we have to do now, because we have a bunch of pointers in here pointing to new elements as well, these will still be in memory if we d just did this. So we have to go through each one of those and delete them first and then delete the actual array of pointers. So we'll go through, delete all of these single elements and then delete all the pointers. So uh, number of elements and we'll say delete our position i. Oops, what am I doing? Okay, that's what you have to do. So you see what's going on, right? Okay, so uh, actually let's just, let's just do that, see if we don't get any crashes. No, we're fine. Okay, so let me just visualize. You can end the video here if you want, but I just want to visualize uh, for you to visualize what's going on. So we have a pointer here. It's pointing to an array now of, uh, let's say four. Say, say the cap was four, right, just to make it simple. And usually, if you just have a pointer, it's pointing to, you know, ten or a bunch of integers here, already consuming these spaces, okay? But what we have now is we have a pointer pointer pointing to an array of integer pointers. So these aren't actually taking up any space. And there is a way to visualize this, okay? Um, let's do this. Let's do this. And we haven't made these null pointers, so these are like really bad uninitialized pointer values. They're not pointing to anything, right? They're not actually pointing to anything here. This would be a better representation. This first one, what we did is we created a new 5 here. So this is holding an integer with 5. Okay, that's what's going on here. I hope you can see that. Eh, I think that looks better. So this is holding, this is pointing to a new integer of 5. These aren't doing anything. These are just empty spaces here. Otherwise, these would be full as well. So there you go. That's the difference here. This is holding an integer. And that's why we have to first delete all of these. We go through number of elements. Because we don't want to, by mistake, delete something uninitialized. By the way, if you delete an uninitialized pointer that is not a null pointer, you'll get an error. You'll get a crash. And you'll be like, why am I getting crashes? Oh my god. But that's the reason. Okay, You need to always initialize your pointers here. So actually what I should have done, I should have gone through here. First thing I should have done is is do this. Cap. Go through. Before I even did this. Okay. This is for good things. Now I don't know I didn't show you. I told you all to end the video here. For you who didn't, for you guys who didn't, I'll show you here uh, what you should do. So array at position i null ptr. And now we don't want to dereference it. Okay, we want to access the actual pointer and put it to null pointer. So we're making it null. When we want to change the value after we make it new, then we'll dereference it. Okay, so I hope, go check out my uh, videos on pointers if you don't really get it. But I'll try to explain better as we go along. But that's what happens. Now these are all null pointers, okay? These are all null pointers now. Let me just visualize that. And how do you, how would you visualize null? Well, you say n, maybe. And these are all null pointers. So you can delete these. These aren't holding anything, but they're just pointing to null pointing, null pointers. So uh, these would just be, nothing would happen to them. They'll not even delete. I mean, no error would occur. So uh, this would be deleted. And then to actually delete all of these, because remember how we deleted a normal array? We use this. And this means that whatever this pointer pointer is pointing to, just delete all of this. God blam. There you go. So that was a visualization. And thank you for going through that. I know I'm babbling a lot, but it's really important you understand this. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.